<clears throat> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my... Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time... What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Oh, Stephen. What are we going to do? I... I, I don't know. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope... Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Really want to involve other people? Feels so awkward to be here. To do something. A, a, a police officer was killed, Claire. You know, our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty, sleeping in our home next to us? Let's, let's just ask him what happened, and we'll figure something out. Okay. All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, 
If you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You... <sighs> You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico. To Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean... You can't run away from the law like... like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel? Super Wolf. Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from 
up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. That's cool, Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, I'm glad they get along so good. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. They 
have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. I used to hate brushing my teeth. Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's the... Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa's showing me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or... Anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I miss Seattle. My friends. Oh, there's so much more to do in the city. <laughs> there's more crime, more traffic. Nobody can go out anymore. I think there's crime everywhere. I love Seattle. But it's cool here, too. Well, it's certainly safer for children. Everybody out here is a neighbor. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language, why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. 
Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will freak. Thank you. I miss Dad and his silly <laughs> Santa Gringo accent. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> Too bad it's broken. It's, it's fine, really. We don't have to. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing. Stephen made it years ago, but it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool anyway. Yeah. Well, it's life. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? <laughs> Escape to pleasure? Man, does Claire read all these? Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. <laughs> Time to take the pen, dude. Weave kindness into your daily narrative. Beautiful. Oh, Sean, it's such a treat to see you drawing. You've got a real gift here. I mean it. You have a kick-ass set, but we only watch boring shows and cable news. Thanks. Do you want to be like... <laughs> Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? <laughs> Deep in the woods, no one around. No way. Two stairs. Such a big fireplace, and not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Jeez, I told him about leaving his toys around. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Hey, Grandma. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. And he's terribly shy. 
Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. No problem. See you tonight, buddy. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. I get why they love their town so much. It's kind of cute. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Sweetie, can you not put your feet on the couch? Yeah. Whatever. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Excuse me, sir. You did not win a ticket for this trip. You got a hitchhike. Come on, Chief. I just want to see how this works. Now, I have to be a real superhero and save the train from disaster. I remember playing this when I came here years ago. Man, things were so different back then. This model is so amazing. Yeah, Grandpa says it took decades to build. Can you believe it? It's crazy. It's way cooler than anything I ever did in Minecraft.
Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. <sighs> fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. <sighs> I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. inside probably old boxes and stuff nothing worth our time it's so weird to be back here again Claire and Steven are kind of weird sometimes but they do care about us I'm glad they're spoiling Daniel Wish I could. Dad never really got along with them, though. I barely know them. <laughs> Family, right? <laughs> We're safe. <sighs> That's all I need. What are you doing, Sean? Nothing, just taking a look at the house. It's pretty cool here. It's not like home, but Grandma and Grandpa are nice. <laughs> yeah, they are. We're lucky they took us in. How long are we gonna stay with them? I don't know. As long as it's safe for us. And for them, I guess. Yeah. All right, enough contemplation for today. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. Oh, so I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where do we start? I'll get it this weekend. Promise. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool.
Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. So here it is. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I... I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor. Or... something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run? <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? No idea. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you, like, throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma <laughs> during a disco night, believe it or not. For real? That's so cool. She was such a good dancer. We danced the hustle, and I, I knew I was going to marry that woman. Aww. By the way, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds so very... Oh, you found this. 
I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've... seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I... I, uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Stephen sure takes his hobby. Uh, well, God, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. But trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. <sighs> Damn, this thing is ancient. Wish I could use it anyway. <sighs> oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah. And remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass! Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first! <sighs> Jeez. This used to be Karen's room. Hmm. Wonder what they've done with it. What's even the point of having so much crockery? As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Gotta do the laundry first.
Hey, um, have you seen Daniel? He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> Running away from chores. I can relate. Sorry, Sean. He's he's not in here. I swear. <sighs> yeah. Well. Thanks. This used to be Karen's room. Hmm. Wonder what they've done with it. I know you're in there. Gotcha! Oh. Come on. Catch your butt out. Okay, okay. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. All right. Let's get it over with. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. Okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Oh, man, finally! It feels so good to be outside. It reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! Ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! We just got here. 
Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Um, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Um, yeah. Uh, but not for long. We're just passing by. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel! Did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? <sighs> no, you... <sighs> you did the right thing. <sighs> but listen, we can't let anybody know. <sighs> we have to keep a low profile out here. He's like... My age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>